Hey guys, in this video I am going to talk about some of the states and the XAML files within the states of RE Framework. So for this you have to open this document and this document is available once you open RE Framework. Click on projects and here is the under the documentation you have this PDF file. In this PDF file, this is the table you need to scroll down and look for this specific table. Okay, so in RE framework, how many different states are there? Four, right? Initialization state, get transaction data state, process transaction state, and end process state. So let's say if a question comes in the initial initialization blocks, right? Choose the uh, correct set of XAML files used in the init block, or choose the correct set of XAML files used in the process transaction block. Okay, so look at this. In the initialization state, there are three XAML files. Initialize all settings. This is for your config file. Kill all processes. Right? Let's say I'm working on Google Chrome. I would like to you know start fresh. So I would like to kill all the Google Chrome processes and start fresh. Init all application to initialize any applications, right? Let's say I'm I need to work on a given application. So this is the XAML file where we define it. So these are the three different XAML files for initialization block. Okay. Now let's move on to get transaction data. The get transaction data, the second one, this is quite simple. This has got only one XAML file, which is get transaction data dot XAML. Pretty simple. So these two states should be pretty clear to you. Now let's move on to the important process, which is the process transaction state. Okay. Now process transaction state. If you go here to the project tab, this is, there is a process dot xaml. Okay, process dot xaml where you actually define exact process to be followed for the bot to complete the automation, right? So this is where you exactly design process dot xaml. This is for the developer to entirely design. Now uh, let's look at there are a couple of um, you know xaml files which are also used. One is your very important one is set. Transaction status dot xaml. So once it is processed, it should set it to success or set it to system exception or set it to business rule exception. Right. So this is the xaml file which is responsible. Now within this set transaction status xaml file, these are the four different states uh, xaml files which is actually used. Okay. So one is the retry current transaction dot xaml. Very important. Take screenshot dot xaml. Close all applications. XAML. Kill all processes. Close all application and kill all processes. For this, in the previous, uh, I think in the previous uh, couple of videos, I have explained all this by going inside the process state, where exactly they stay. But again, from the exam perspective, uh, ensure you at least know that how many XAML process. XAML one set transaction two within that within the set transaction status there are again one two three four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Total six. So within set transaction dot XAML, we have retry current transaction dot XAML file. Take screenshot dot XAML file. Close all application dot XAML file and kill all process. Okay, make a note of this. Okay. Now the end process state has got two XAML file. One is the close all application XAML file and the kill all process. Okay, very important table. Just go through this table and try to recall exactly how it is designed okay so thank you guys i'll come up with one more such uh, topic which could be helpful during your exam thank you